and today I'm going to be reviewing The Boy Who Swam with Piranhas by David Almond, illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. I first heard about this book while reading Family Fun magazine. There was a tiny little article, actually more of a paragraph, that suggested if you like books by Roald Dahl that you would like this book. Tore it out of the magazine, I forgot about it. Until Kiki chose this book, The Day the Crayons Quit, that is written by Drew DeWalt, illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. We read this book and loved it. It's a really great story about some crayons that have written these letters to their owner and what the owner decides to do after he gets all the letters. Really great illustrations. After reading this book, we went to the library and we checked out all of the books with illustrations by Oliver Jeffers. Uh, one of them that we really liked was called Stuck. It's about a boy who gets something, it's his kite, he gets caught in a tree, and to get the kite out, he starts throwing things up in the tree, and all of those things get stuck in the tree. And here's the result of that. Another book that we liked that was by Oliver Jeffers was This Lost and Found. It's about a penguin that shows up on the doorstep of of a little boy and he's lost and so the boy decides he's going to try to find where the penguin goes and so that's what this story is about. Really cute. So once I discovered that the boy that swam with the piranhas was illustrated by Oliver Jeffers, of course, I wanted to read it. Checked it out from the library and read it. It's, it's a chapter book but it has cute little illustrations. Here's one. another. And here's another. And this book is about a little boy named Stanley Potts. His parents have died and he's living with his aunt and his uncle. His uncle loses his job and decides to turn their house into a fish canning factory. This takes place in England in the 1930s. Um, Stanley, of course, is miserable. His aunt is miserable. His uncle is a dictator that makes them work hard, long days, and he's just not enjoying his life. Until his birthday rolls around and his aunt gives him some money and tells him to go off and have fun. Stanley goes into town and he finds the circus and he is enamored with the circus and he decides he's going to run away with the circus. And what happens next is why you get the title of this book. It's what Stanley decides to do when he goes to the circus. It's a really cute book. It's an easy read. I recommend it for kids ages 9 through about 12 or for adults that like cute whimsical stories. It would make a great read aloud for younger kids as well. Um, David Almond is a well-known British author that I hadn't heard of before today. But reading a little bit about him, he's won numerous awards. He's written other books, Skellig, which was made into a movie, and another book called Clay. Um, so I think after reading this, I'll be looking into his books a little bit more. And I hope that you read this and do that too. Oliver Jeffers, too, has some really great books. I recommend going and checking them all out from the library. You may even recognize um, his illustrations. He illustrated the, the single Ordinary Love by U2 that was written for the movie Mandela. Um, just a great all-around illustrator, great writer of cute little picture books. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy The Boy Who Swam with Piranhas. The sea wants to kiss the golden shore The sunlight warms your skin